Hey Libra, what's up, what's good, what's happening? Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Libra the Cross Watcher, anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit, okay? If none of this hits home, just try a different message or a different reader. No offense will be taken. Full Celtic Cross spread with the, what is this one? Everyday Witch Tarot. Is the one with all the kitties. Say swear. When I started your shuffle, first thing I saw was the Ace of Pentacles. What comes out for your current energy is the Ace of Cups. Okay. Aces for you. You know how they say that love works miracles? I think you love at a really deep level to where just being around you makes people feel good. It makes people feel happy. It makes people feel like they matter, like they're heard, like they're understood, like they're not alone, like there is hope. Let me help you. Yeah, you change people. You change people. I'm also hearing a door that may have been closed for a while. Looks like it's opening again. Nine of Cups. Five of Swords. Mm. Five of Cups. Yeah, somebody could have been very... I want to use the right word though destructive with your heart with your feelings somebody was very destructive with you it likely left a scar mm. but it looks like that was a long time ago <clears throat> This could have been in love and romance, so maybe that's something. You were still open and loving and compassionate and meeting friends. You just weren't interested in romance. It looks like you are now. Wow, queen of cups and swords. Damn, you don't play. You are an important person with important friends. Beautiful people, absolutely beautiful people, massively bright futures ahead of all of you guys know you might actually be very spiritual actually and friends with again very spiritual individuals yeah justice six of pentacles yeah because this is equal this is reciprocal this is i can be there for people who were actually fucking there for me who knew that was an option <laughs> i didn't know that was an option <laughs> that's a choice yeah yeah Good for you. The high priestess. Yeah. Very, very, very spiritual individuals here. So let's get into recent past. What's changed? The Knight of Pentacles. Getting a couple different ways that this breaks down. For some of you guys, there's a lot of stuff that's just up in the air. So you're like... Let's just see what comes of this. And if love comes in, love comes in. That that looks like it's what's happening here. Um, this isn't... For some of you... Well, hold on. Stop. Give me more. There we go. Give me more on that, please. Two of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Very back and forth on something here. For some of you, this is actually about opening up a, like a dream job or a dream. You're following a passion here. You're nervous. Maybe it's very costly. You're like, should I? Should I not? Should I? Should I not? You're definitely leaning towards you should. <laughs> I can feel that. 
like you're starting to convince me that I should. <laughs> and I don't even know what it is. No, I'm just feeling your energy. I think you're definitely leaning towards you want to. There's a lot of unknowns in this, sure, but you'll learn as you go. Three of Pentacles. You've really mastered something here, and you know that. People are like, you're good. You're really good. You should share this. You could really make some money off of this. You could really... The star is also like stardom and fame. So this is very well known in your area, very well known for your niche and what you're doing here, very well known in some way. Whether you are or this holds the potential to put you in that position, it's here. I also feel like you're touched, like angelically touched. Ten of Cups behind that. Scorpio and Aquarius. Taurus. Um, those are all fixed signs. You also have Virgo, Libra, and Cancer. No, Scorpio. So sorry, Scorpio. Okay, near future. Four of Swords. <laughs> and temperance i know you're not about to sleep on yourself i know you're not i know this is actually you taking it one step at a time nice and easy i'm hearing easy does it easy does it you're not pushing yourself to like meet some kind of quota here you're not putting a bunch of pressure on yourself expecting this to just go huge overnight you understand that this is going to take time, effort, resources, and you're going to have to build a clientele. You're going to need references here. But once all that is established, yeah, something is going to grow here. I'm also getting there could have been a major ending. And because of this major ending, you're like, fuck it. What do I have to lose? And you go after a dream that ends up putting you in a very balanced situation that it's like, I can't believe that fucking worked. I cannot believe that worked. And life is way better. Way better. I'm getting a lot less stress, a lot less, um, a lot of things. It's almost like because you are making these moves, very masculine of you, you are able to feel comfortable in your own feminine. So it's almost like you stepped up as your own masculine so that your feminine could be comfortable enough to be a feminine too, right? Or this is somebody coming in trying to do this with you. They see that you're, you're feminine, okay? There's no mistake about that. You're a feminine. But this person is trying to come in and be that masculine so that you can be even more in your feminine. Because it's like... They can see how they would benefit you and your life, and they want to do this for you. There's definitely an attraction here between you guys. I don't usually do love readings, but the Ace of Cups is here. It's a love reading. Eight of Pentacles. Oh, my God. Yeah, you work so well with this person. Ooh, interesting. Maybe they went through. Yeah, their past kind of mimics yours, as in they've had a heartbreak as well. But they're extremely psychic, just like you are. Both of you are very much working on yourselves. Both of you are very much um, well-educated. I feel like you're both very open. So, like, you hear other people's stories and you kind of learn life lessons through other people like you didn't have to go through everything to learn what you learned in life to be where you are there are some things that you learn through watching other people or hearing their their testimonies and being like I will take that advice with me every moment of every day and I will make sure that I yes yes I will not make the same mistake yes you you probably just save somebody with that thank you I'm so sorry you had to go through that but oh my gosh at least maybe you can help somebody with that knowledge right like I feel both of you are very open to hearing 
open-minded and open-hearted. You're not very judgmental. You want to understand all the different ways the world works. You're aware that as you're driving down the road, you're living your life, but there are people all around you living their completely separate lives and they're all overlapping at the same time somehow. Like curiouser and curiouser, you know? Anyways, I'm kind of going off on a tangent. I just feel like I can read your energy. You're open to this. If you weren't open to somebody reading your energy, I can, yeah, you're somebody that mm -mm, I don't want you to read that, so you're not going to read that. And that's super wise. You have to be able to do that. I'm glad you can. Look, King of Cups, Two of Swords. You're not even looking for love. You're looking for other things. Or you weren't even trying to open your business like this. You were content working for corporate somewhere until they were like, no longer needing your position, so we're going to have to let you go. Or we're going to have to part ways or whatever terminology they choose to use. Collect that unemployment and use that as a down payment on your business. And get this ball rolling because... It is absolutely going to change your life. If this is the epitome of one door closes, another door opens. For some of you, there's been a door that's been closed, and I'm getting that for the romance, a long time. But it looks like now part of your legacy is trying to come in. Somebody that you weren't even really looking for is coming in. See, because you're building the business, that part of your legacy the person that's supposed to come in and be a part of that is now able to come in. I'm telling you, when you access new energy, you'd be surprised the things that come in that are a part of that chapter. As much as we try to <laughs> grab the pen and write our story, there are surprise characters coming in that we don't even know yet because we're just in our, our rough draft of the book, you know? Queen of Pentecost. I can't make it up. King and Queen. This is a perfect pair. These are the people that mm, longevity, loyalty. These are the relationships that other people idolize. Like I know I found the right one. If I find someone that we look like that, if we look like that, that's a healthy relationship, right? Look at all these queens here. The Queen of Wands is the only one that's not on the board. King of Swords and Wands isn't here. Page of Swords. Yeah, so this is just you understanding the messages that are coming through. Which, again, I think you guys are both very psychic. And you under... Okay, so this is just confirmation then. Which is all tarot should be. It's just confirmation for what you already know. I'm not here to tell you things you don't know. I'm here to help you trust your own intuition. You feel something is up i'm gonna let you know prepare yourself because yeah you're right something is up anyways what is the outcome here i just heard happily ever after i think the ten of cups is still in here the ace of wands all the aces I said, um, somebody's taking action, but this is like just the beginning. It's just the ace, just the beginning. And then the divine is coming through with the three of wands talking about there is definitely something here to this. There is definitely a bright future here. Um, this is something that can shine warmth, right? The sun, may the sun shine warmth upon your fields. May the sun shine always at your back. May the road rise up to meet you until we meet again, my friend. I actually sang that um, in a very competitive <laughs> choir class. I actually made it to the top, but we sang that. That is such a beautiful poem.
a lot of Irish, a lot of Celtic here. Celtic cross spread. Sorry, that left me with much thinking. Animal spirit oracles. What do we have? I saw the wasp and groundhog spirit, so it might hurt, but it's time to let go of something. The reason it might hurt is because you got fired, right? <laughs> that hurt. That sucked. That was kind of shitty, right? But it's pushing you into finally opening up this business or finally doing something. Else. It feels like your own creation. Handcrafted, I think, is what I was channeling. Goodness. Beaver Spirit, lay a solid foundation. What else came out? A few. Rabbit spirit, now is a lucky time. Yeah, it might not feel like it, though. <laughs> I just got fired. What do you mean, lucky? Uh, sandpiper spirit, be playful. Because mm -hmm. it is lucky. You just might not see it as luck yet. Yet. Seahorse spirit, watch and wait. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. This is very much the Temperance and Four of Swords. Before you get mad, before you pipe up, before you snap at somebody, just hold on a second. Because there are things that you don't quite know yet. There are things that are going to make sense in a moment. Something you don't see Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to leave it right there. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.